I didn't fall. Or like a sound setting. Hi. Why? Hello. Hello. Are you here? Why is it clipping me so bad? Anna, are you hearing me? I'm here. Banana. Banana. Everything looks good. Why? I still feel like it's clipping me. Eh? Can I? Maybe I turn it up more? I'm sorry. Yes, no, I, I actually hit the space button because I was drinking milk. I ate here. Oh! Oh! Oops! Oh, did it really? Oh, that's funny. No, that was not. I was because it, uh, you guys, I accidentally hit spacebar and so the background music started playing. You guys hear me alright, I guess. It's good. Huh? I thought it's a uh, lot of fries. Ah, 
Okay, that's better, I think. Huh? Oh, that's... Oh my god! I know why! Okay. Oh. Okay. Is that better? I gotta turn that down now. So, um, I am dumb and I was trying to put it to 16.5 and I said it was 6. Oh my god, there I go. I tripped at my cord again now. Okay, yeah. No, yeah, I said oops though because I started playing the background music and I was like, I hope you guys aren't hearing two musics. Um, but yeah, sorry about that, guys. I swear I'm here. Um, I just... The last few weeks I've had some really bad luck with uh days for streaming like uh we lost our internet completely for a couple days in there last week and I just yeah I don't think I did any streaming I did play Phasma but I didn't stream it no it's, it's don't you know the true sign of a VTuber is that you have technical difficulties I think that's the true sign of a streamer it doesn't help that when I started, like, because I've been doing this for a couple years now. When I started, it was like, you know, um, basic equipment that was super easy to set up and nothing fancy. And now even to stream, I have, let's see, what, five, six, wait, one. So for my model, I have three programs open. For the audio, I have two programs open. And then that doesn't include, like, the streaming program itself. Hi, kitten! So yeah, no, uh, there's, there's, it's a lot more complex than it was when I started. I just is like, it's, it's weird, but yeah, no, if you're not messing up, you're not doing it right. That, that's the dream, right? No, it, it, I feel like the more you want to improve, the more you have to advance like the tech, but that also means like people like me who have no idea what the fuck they're doing are going to have to learn. I do. Okay. I mean, I figured out what the problem with my mic was. I mean, I felt pretty dumb when I realized it was because I was 10 decibels off. I can read. What are you talking about? Because I was like, oh no. Oh no, it's not doing. That's why it would be, you know, not picking me up. Because I was literally <laughs> at, you know. Oh, that's too high. But yeah, I was literally at uh, 6 decibels instead of 16. That's just a little different. Yes, anyways, uh, so yeah, tonight we're back to arting. Um, I'm also working on setting up a uh, Valheim stream with my friends again, because I'm going to go play some more Valheim. Hi! Hi, Fraser! Or maybe I can even get my one friend who always wants to play with us, but is always like, oh, you always play when I got to go to bed. Maybe if I let him know ahead of time. I want to also make our, our guest bedroom into look more like a prison because that was my, my motive with it. We just couldn't use stone back when I built it. Um, and then... Depending on what's going on, I might try to play some more Tales of... I'm trying to find a game right now to take with me to the hospital um, coming up. Uh, nothing serious. I'm going in for like a really weird long sleep study that lasts for like um, nearly 12 hours. I go in at 9 p.m. And then I don't get out until 4 p.m. the next day. <laughs> but I'm trying to, you know, stop getting drowsy while I drive. And trying to actually sleep normal. That's hard. How do you people do it, man? Yeah, so I've been doing stuff on that. And then I got stuff to get done for Robin God's Murder Mystery. And I've been... I think I got most of the Kickstarter stuff done, so that helped. <laughs> no, it's just a prison. Yeah, um, I set it up and I didn't really tell anybody what I was planning. I just had them helping me build it. And I was like, okay, guys, like in Valheim, our, our basically stuff when people come and play on our server, I have beds for them to sleep in, you know. Some people sleep. I hate those people. Wong, I'm talking about you. Too much Wong falls asleep instantly. It's so unfair. Oh my god, no! In real life, I have a guest bedroom with a bed. <laughs> and some inflatable mattresses and extra pillows and stuff. But yes, no, um, I mean, I could put people, I guess, in my basement, but it's unfinished, so it kind of would be like a prison, wouldn't it? But no, no, yeah, in, in Valheim, in Valheim, I purposely built the guest, um, the, the guest, uh, um, house for, like, so when we have other people play, they have a place, you know, to stay and sleep, and so they're not, like, 
you know, going to be like all the way off yonder because our, our main house is not that big. It has enough of room for, I guess, it technically should only have room for five of us, but Wong decided to build himself a bug bed above somebody else's bed so we can fit five of us in it. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't know somebody who may or may not have convinced somebody that she had a BDSM uh, dungeon in her basement, but it was a lie she did it. It's just funny. That's what I thought of. Rana Faye's BDSM dungeon in her basement. You guys, if you ever go on her stream, just mention that casually. and Don't say who told you. <laughs> but yeah, so back when we first started playing Valheim, though, I, I didn't, we didn't have anything but wood. So I just basically dug a giant hole into the earth <laughs> and then um, fenced off all the room. Like the play, I like made a bunch of fenced areas and then with doors and then we put beds in them. <laughs> I put some skeletons on the walls. Let me see. Um, like this? Not on, no. One of my artist friends. She was playing art. Look at that. Now, I've known her for a long time. She's actually the one who um, taught me how to do Copics and stuff. I've done a couple art stream uh, collabs with her and even a karaoke collab with her before. She was the one, I think the last time we did the art stream, it was just here in utter chaos we were like one person would start the drawing and the other person would add on to it and it was just we we decided to not do a serious one that time because we already had so yeah it was just pretty much utter chaos um i mean i apparently get a lot of people to eat fries i didn't want to become a cult leader though it sounds like a lot of work just give me your fries man Yeah, I don't, I definitely won't want to be a cult leader. Dude, guys, I can't even dress myself. How do you expect me to make, like, outfits? Well, I mean, I obviously I wear clothes, but I have no fashion sense. One of my friends insists on sending me her wardrobe choices every day, and I'm like, I don't know if that matches. Just wear whatever you want. My dress code at both of my jobs is whatever I want. <laughs> so, in fact, at the comic book shop, if I... He joked the first early on in my shift. He's like, "If you want to dress as a uh, a Catholic school girl, I I won't help. I won't stop you." Um, I told him I would if he did it too. What? Pick up cultist poop? What? Why would I want to pick up cultist poop? I've seen a lot of people like talking about cult of lamb. I don't know what it's about though. I mean, don't don't tell me it's about cults because I mean that's in the title. I can understand that much. <laughs> I do see a lot of it. Yeah, that's why I was like, I've been looking through games too because I'm like, I want to take a game with me. And so basically, what the sleep study will have is I they told me to bring stuff to do because after the initial nighttime sleep study, um, where you know they put me to bed at some point and wake me up and are like oh hey look you didn't sleep at all but it's okay we can still get results off of it um they actually think i have um basically hypersomnia which is why i'm drowsy all the time because my body just doesn't uh equate any of my rest i get ever uh to rest and so it doesn't know what to do and so it's just like you know what you need fatigue so um that that's what they what they think uh anyways so that's what i'm getting tested for so that's why it's a day like a daily a test that lasts the whole day so um, they, they, uh, in the letter I got that explained it, I'm basically going to be uh, napping on and off. And in the meantime, in between, I have to do something. Or, well, I don't have to, but otherwise I'm just going to be sitting there twiddling my thumbs. So I figured bringing my Switch is a good idea. Stardew Valley man mon eh, mon Oh my god, I can't say the word monster with mansions. <laughs> you know what? I've not actually played Stardew Valley, but from what I know, it's like Harvest Moon. If I'm thinking Harvest Moon with monsters, I'm going to think Rune Factory, man. Yes, I actually will be Galuda. I will be, indeed be at Ramen Con, and I will be killing people again, as per usual. Did I actually do this? Oh my god, I'm ahead of myself. I started this before I left for work. Well, I started this part before I left for work this morning. I have no idea what I did this morning. Oh yeah, by the way, I should introduce the art I'm doing. This is a Patreon reward. It's a uh, Kaguya uh, Mea. And uh, Yukoku Roberu, uh, their name together is Night Maya, because uh, Yukoku uh, it has to do with night. 
and then it sounds like nightmare so that's that's what it is uh, it's pretty nightmare if you watch it um it's fun but uh maya is so chaotic i love it i love her ah hi quotable <laughs> comes in the lurks and hydrates ah uh, well i won't be moving much even at ramakad my leg's still pretty jacked Still finally get an MRI because uh, my my rheumatologist uh, since something came back on the X-ray and I have a tumor in that knee and the kneecap but it's not actually affecting my walking apparently not at all it's small and has not grown in like 12 years so it's it's still doing its thing it's apparently pretty common actually good eat those fries do it but yeah um she thinks I did some uh soft tissue damage which you know makes sense. Especially because there was like this sickeningly wet pop <laughs> when it really started acting up. So I'm like, oh, I don't know what I did. It's also really fun to explain to people. Like uh, when my, my, I had my back go out the other day, it spasmed really bad and went out. And my boss was like, oh God, did I, like at the comic shop was like, oh God, did I overwork you? And I was like, no, no, this just happens. Because I sat around all day at the comic shop that day and sorted some books, but I don't have to put a lot of effort into it on Thursdays when it's really quiet. I just work with customers. And that keeps me busy. But yeah, so he thought he like hurt me or something. And I was like, no, I did it. I did it by existing. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> I love them cupcakes today. Yeah, Um. so basically it's a bone tumor. It's very common. Um. I, they have another name too. But yeah, so like a lot of people have them and don't even realize them because they don't do anything. So, but mine just because um, this is also the same leg that years ago when I moved, I dropped the box of books onto it at a really weird angle. And now I have a permanent shin splint in that leg. Like literally, it shows up as a shin splint on like uh, it, like um, like you know what are they called? Those tests that they look at your muscles and stuff, like scans and stuff. So yeah, they don't know what to think of that. But that that's when they found the the bone tumor. And I, that I did that probably about eight years ago. No, it wasn't that long. But it, it's been a while. Yeah, I dropped it at a really weird angle on my leg. So guys, uh, don't pick up books if you're me. That's the girl who moves books around all the time. Um, <laughs> he, he already gives me bonuses all the time though. And when I was out for a week with COVID and stuff and not feeling really good and I just, I couldn't do anything. And obviously I wasn't gonna go anywhere until I was negative. He literally let me make up all those days I missed by just taking off random days so I could get, get my hours back. It was so nice of him. I was like, oh my God. He's like, I'll just go spend time with my family. Store's yours. All right, I see weird noises, we dumb. Don't worry, Galuda, I see it. That is not me. I did not drop something. Wong's behind me. I thought I broke something. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, Wong, get that away from my mic. <laughs> Wong put a back massager against my butt. That was that vibration. <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't realized, Wong and I do stream in the same room. He's not streaming right now. He's just up here. Oh, posture check. <laughs> ASMR massager stream. I'm not a big fan of ASMR. Ugh. <laughs> I love making weird noises. <laughs> Weird noises are my hobby, though. I make them even when I'm not trying. It's great because Wong and I don't think about it, and we make weird noises at each other all the time, just at a daily basis. So sometimes I forget that, and like I'll be in the car with my mom, and I'll make some weird noise at her, and she's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> like I'm sorry, mother. This is how I am now. You're, this is what your middle child turned into. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's fun. This banana milk does not taste like bananas at all. Kind of tastes like cinnamon and nutmeg. <laughs> Weird noises all the time. I could probably get away with making my kitten because I think kitten would make a mac of me too. <laughs> I mean, how dare you make... Actually, I probably sit better postures than a lot of people. And yeah, it's funny because like, um, I guess I got, because I used to work at a print shop, which was, you know, all like desk job. So I kind of got in the habit of like, uh, like every hour, because I have a Fitbit and you know, it tells you like 10 minutes till the hour is up, go walk. So like I have a tendency just to automatically like 
every hour get up and go walk for a bit. It's hard right now because I can't walk on one of my legs. But yeah, I'll like wobble around just to like stretch and stuff. So yeah, I actually don't sit in front of my computer 24-7, guys. I swear. Except for when I was sick, I sat in front of the PS5 for <laughs> the whole time. That's when I played, finally played the PS5 games I had that were PS5 only. I didn't stream any of them. I, I figured I wouldn't. That's that's why. They were ones I wasn't planning on streaming, so. I am the middle child. Yeah, I've got a cosplaying kitten here that is in the chat. I'm going to do a shout out for her. That is actually my older sister, legitly. Which reminds me, I, I, I need to get business cards for her because I keep giving out her information for her miniature painting at the comic book store. I don't have business cards, so I keep writing them on the back of random things or post-it notes. I feel bad for the people who get them. But like people come in and or like uh, today I had two people come in and grab some stuff from Warhammer. And of course it's like, oh man, you paint miniatures? I got to talk to you about miniature painting and show you kittens caught the painting. I probably have more embarrassing stories about her, though. Also, to be fair, most of our embarrassing stories probably have both of us in it. <laughs> when we were kids, people mistook us for twins. She's actually two years my senior, but we were, like, literally inseparable. <laughs> so, yeah. It's one of those weird ones where people are like, siblings fight all the time. And I was like, eh, we didn't actually really have any fighting between any of them because uh, obviously we have another sibling we have the little sister she's the craziest i swear <laughs> but she does not stream i think she popped up on a phasmo game once like way long ago and that was it no it was among us she popped up and killed people it was great we didn't even know she was in and she just popped up and then was the uh because you know it's like uh the invite code and she could hear us and see it and so she joined and killed people <laughs> yeah there's three sisters all girls You can tell why it's so much chaos. No, it's fun though. Yeah, I, I, I get along with my sister as well. And I, we've never had major issues. My, my, yeah, if anything, my two sisters had more issues together and they're still not that bad compared to what some people have had. I hear people that are like, yeah, like, you know, we want to murder each other. And I'm like, God, what the hell did you do? But then again, I also know people who are like close with cousins and stuff, and I'm not, so. All different types of families, right? I'm close with my cats, does that count? You know, speaking of cats, one of, well, first off, if you guys have not listened to Arata's mix, I need to like retweet that at some point. It was a great, beautiful song of my cat meowing that I mixed to like dance music, because why not? But, uh, <laughs> Ah, you know, she's so busy. Uh, she's actually, um, she she is an EMT, uh, and she's going to be working at a legit fire station and everything. She got into one of the hardest ones to get into, so she's super excited, and she's training very hard. So yeah, she, she doesn't have a lot of free time. And she definitely does not have the computer to handle it. But yeah, it's it would be nice to, it would be fun to play a game with her at some time and get her on a stream. If, she, if we once it's safe to have people like come visit again like you know three years from now right i'm just gonna keep changing how long COVID's gonna last every single time but yeah I, i'd like her to come visit a, and like yeah so it'd be fun to have her like play a game with me or something we could play something dumb yeah i don't know how how she does it honestly because yeah i couldn't either I also am not a very big people person, which is really funny that, you know, all of my primary um, sources of income involve being a people person. <laughs> I am a, you know, I, I obviously, uh, streaming is not my primary source of income. I do this just because I, I have fun with it and I like playing games with people. And yeah, it's obviously income is always nice if we get it, but no, nah. I'm an illustrator. Uh, like professional uh, illustrator that does like commissions and work and stuff like that and I also write so I sell my own books and stuff and then I do the comic book shop and then I also teach art or I teach uh, art classes at a local art gallery to primarily children but I've also done some adult classes like for photoshop and stuff adult not as an 18 plus guys I don't teach people how to draw porn nobody's paid me enough for that yet 
I figured you meant y'all as in the three of us. That's what I thought you meant. Yeah, she doesn't have, like I said, she doesn't quite have the right stuff. So, like, eventually if I can get her up here. Because it's a lot easier to do stuff with cosplaying kitten. Because she has more of the setup. Because, yeah, she does stream. Yeah, obviously it's yet. Guys, don't worry. Everything will happen. It's just a matter of time of when I do it. You know, actually, cosplaying kitten was one of the ones I played a Phasma with the other day when I did not stream it. I just was like, ah, I just want to take a break. We'll just play some games with friends. It was uh, cosplaying kitten Kevin who kept dying, and then uh, Kuso Kohaku, which I need to. I haven't posted that yet. I did. Uh, I did as a gift. I made uh, Kuso Kohaku a, uh, a, a her own VTuber. So one of these days, she's gonna come over and do like a cooking, uh, like a baking stream with me, and we can both stream together. Go get some, yeah, do it. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I could do that on Twitch though. I don't think they'd allow that. I don't know how I would do a not for safe teaching stream. <laughs> I'm gonna make those fries though. That sounds good. Fries are always good. Although I had Okonomiyaki. Are you guys familiar with Okonomiyaki? I'm gonna explain it to you just in case you are. So okonomiyaki is sometimes called, uh, like I guess Japanese style pizza. It's not pizza at all, um, but it, it has a kind of, I guess, similar basis to it. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't even think I could do it on an alt account. They might ban it by IP. I don't know. To be fair, eventually, at one point, I had talked about um, doing more of that kind of artwork on my Patreon, but nobody on my Patreon who actually subscribes seemed to care. They just want to see the art and get the free stuff. So I'm like, that's fine. Okay, please do that, Quotable. This planet needs some fixing. I mean, you're right. I do have a VPN. Doesn't everyone know? Yeah, so anyways, okonomiyaki is a, uh, basically it's made, um, base is primarily cabbage and some okonomiyaki flour, and then, um, which is just basically a specific type of flour for it. It's just, you know, it's just flour. Um, and then in our case, today's okonomiyaki, we use, uh, white cheese, like a, I think, what, did we use Swiss Gruyere today? White. Um, shrimp. Bacon, uh, onions that were already caramelized because we had eaten them previously this weekend. So we just used it the rest. Um, we used them for hamburgers initially and hot dogs. And then um, tamanegi, which is, or, yeah, green onion. Uh, that's the English word. And then um, I think that was everything in it. It was yummy. It's kind of a healthy pizza because then you put um, you put like a okonomiyaki sauce, which is kind of like a sweet sauce made of a fruits and vegetables. So it's specifically called okonomiyaki sauce. And then and then the best part is you put something called bonita flakes on there. If you guys, um, I think I posted a video of it on Twitter. So bonita flakes are just really thin like fish flakes. Um, I think the ones we have are made of mostly tuna, according to the bag. What? Skipjack? Is that a fish? Apparently, okay. Wonks is skipjack. But yeah, so they're really thinly sliced, and because of the heat of the food, uh, they like move. They don't, they're not actually alive, but <laughs> they move. The first time I saw them, which I was just a kid, I was like, what is this? But I still eat it because I just eat things. Mm, bacon, pizza, and fries. I already ate those, so for a change, I'm not hungry. But we can still talk about food because I will never say no to talking about food. It's one of my favorite things, guys. a little more purple on this part. It's not necessarily healthy. Yeah, I guess kind of seafood, vegetable, pancake, or omelet. Um, yeah, it's not actually dried onion, typically, though it's dried fish. I just eat things. My favorite kind of food is free. It's even gotten to the point that my boss at the comic book shop is like, I'm going out. Do you need fries? I'll bring you some back. I'm like, he knows. <laughs> he brings me back fries a lot. It's pretty, pretty funny, actually. 
Like, come on, who doesn't love food, though? My god. What are you, a robot if you don't eat food? I mean, it's okay not to love all kinds of food, because everyone has their taste. God damn it, I hit the core again. I don't eat people, guys. God, if you know where they've been? Ew. Never be a cannibal. I know what people put in them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think people are too disgusting to eat. <laughs> That's the best part to come into streams on really awkward times, though, right? Not coming in at an awkward moment. Are you even living? I, I swear, I feel like every time somebody comes in, especially the Occupy Soul streams, because I, I work with Occupy Soul to do uh, up with the figure stuff too. Just I always feel like uh, they come, people come in at like the weirdest times. They'll be like, "Wait, what are we talking about?" Like you heard us. I love that kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, the, the reason I rate my streams uh, 18 and up is not is just so I can be mouthy and we can talk about all the shit we want. Sorry, guys. I am not say-so. I enjoy violence. Not that that's necessarily all say-so is about. But... Oh, I forgot line. Give me a second. Let me mute that. Oh, line, where are you? All right, my mom is messaging me. Yeah, I'd like to see what you're working on. What is it? What is your uni major? My, my senior project for my, my college, I did semester, my college semester, because I'm dumb and got through college fast. Um, yeah, don't do that, guys. It, I punched a mirror, it won. Um, I, I made a video game, but I ran out of time to do all the coding that I wanted to because I had a semester to do it all and I was doing all the art and the back BGM and all that shit by myself too. So um, it ended up being basically just a glorified visual novel. There was supposed to be a lot of mini games in it. Like you'd get to a point and be like, what do you want to do here? And then you would like do a little mini game to figure it out, but I didn't have time. So it just became a visual novel. It's okay. Also, yes, I do say that I was too lazy as I randomly coded an entire visual novel. Not that long, though. An art. Okay, cool. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Oh, that's cool. Man. Are you going to do all the textures and stuff on it, too? 3D is definitely a weakness of mine. Like... So when I had 3D in, uh, back when I was in university or college and stuff, um, my teacher that I was supposed to teach me like the basics was horrible. So I spent the year that we were supposed to learn like all the specifics and riggings and stuff better. Um, basically I learned how to relearn a bunch of the basics. So I'm pretty good with like textures and lighting and things like that, but I suck at the actual building and rigging. Clone sisters? When do we do this? Wait, when can I use these clone sisters? Art and violence is always fun together. Oh, yeah, I don't miss that at all. I hope I was gonna say. Hopefully, nowadays I feel like um, computers are better than they were. Like as far as like what they could handle. I remember, um, <laughs> I'll have to see if I can find it. It's pretty, pretty awful. It's on my old YouTube account. I didn't realize that it got like what I, I didn't realize I logged in with the wrong account one day. So I have two YouTube accounts. One is my Yahoo address and one is my <laughs> Gmail email address, which is what I use more nowadays. But yeah, I think the Gmail one is the one I use to like post my covers on the archives of these streams. But, um, anyways, uh, for my, one of my classes my senior semester we had to do a 3d animation and as i said i did not understand a lot of the basics and was still learning them and it also took me forever to um render stuff out with my laptop because you know it was this is not we're talking i graduated 09 <laughs> guys i'm old <laughs> i mean i graduated early so i shouldn't have graduated 09 but i graduated 2009 from college 
I know, right? Did you? I never saw your pony, I don't think, Ken. You should share it with me sometime. But yeah, so I never learned how to correctly 100% um, rig and set up the hierarchy of things. And that was a big issue, especially for 3D animation. So my final project for that class, which the teacher just kind of let us do whatever. Because he's like, as long as you do the work, I, 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 you know, I respect that you did it and that's all you need. So yeah, um... It was a, like a little cute little animation of these two creatures in the forest and like the one was like I have berries but you can't have any because I'm a meaty face and the other one's but I'm hungry I want some and then he trips and falls and he hurts himself and he's sad and then the other guy comes over and gives him some berries to make him happy and then they walk together off in the sunset so that's the basis of it now the important thing to know is like at one point when he falls, one the ears fall down a second after he does. So he falls and then his ears fall. And then when they walk away in the sunset, I am not kidding. They literally walk up into the sun. <laughs> and I had, you know, it looked okay until I went and like actually rendered it out. And I was like, God damn it. And I didn't have time to redo it. I still got an A somehow. But yes, that's my 3D animation. I'm not teaching you how to model. What? No, no, that is not a good way to learn. Gosh. And then it got rigged weird. One ear got stuck to the back? What? I, I really need to see this now, kitten. Yeah, that's that's pretty BS for the class. Oh, oops. What? Oh, okay, I messed up. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean you didn't give me a number? I'm sorry, I'm reading, I'm like interested. I like, I like this kind of talk, this is fun. Tell me about your lives, tell me about this stuff so we can all relate and cry together. Yeah, I mean, I, my problem was, is um, at least for me, like there were two teachers teaching the 3D um, stuff at my school. And I unfortunately got the one that literally did not give a damn. And he wasn't a very good teacher. I also had him for my video game design class, which I took with Rana Faye, by the way, because I mentioned her earlier. So, so yeah, we, we uh, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, yeah. Kitten also went to the same college. We, in fact, we had some of the classes together. Although she usually took the classes ahead of me. Like Barb. Barb, oh my god. So Barb. I think I mentioned this before on a stream with Rana Bay, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the story of this. So Barb was very anti-anime um, style art. Like she was like, if it's not realism, it's not art. So she didn't care if it was like, if you did a cartoon style, it wasn't art. If you did anime style, it wasn't art. Like that was, she was one of those people. Which is totally wrong because all art is art it's just subjective i mean hell i think cooking is art um yeah anti-anime cartoon anything stylized yep so um to me the uh, the irony of it was uh veronica and i both took that class together so um we both uh as you guys have probably seen both have a very um her, her style is more disney-esque at times but yeah we we both especially back then had much more like anime-ish styles and they're definitely stylized well for our final project like prior to that because she kept taking points off on Ronafe for drawing it that style so I tried really hard not to draw that style and do a more realistic style and stuff and so you know it worked out okay whatever well oh, oops. Not gonna... oh my god the strength that's why I was like what the hell's going on here strength is way too high oh my god um, that's too low now. But yeah, for our final thing, we had to animate, what is it, like a minute and a half, I think? We had to do a little animation. It was just sketch. It was all just sketch stuff because it was literally called sketching and it was just learning about, um, literally it's about learning about motion and how to, you know, move stuff. It was not a draw. It wasn't a drawing class per se but it was like learning about the basics of like that kind of art stuff so it was a lot of work on like posing and um the flow of things and ironically that's the first art class I ever actually took in school <laughs> I did not take any art classes prior to that I I think I still have my I, at least they're still on DeviantArt for me I don't know if I, I I have I probably still have on my external somewhere and especially yeah I definitely know I have the flash ones 
including the dumb ones that uh, Komiko and I used to make afterwards. But yeah, so we did it and um, I kind of was getting tired. I, I, I could not keep up a style that was not comfortable for me. So my final animation did indeed fall into totally anime style because it was the only way I could draw it comfortably. And uh, you know, Rana phase is probably even less so on her end. Yeah, she she gave me 100%, but she took off points from Rana Faye for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ranafe wanted to scream. It was kind of funny though. It's like really, oh Barb. Yeah, she she wasn't a very good teacher as far as being um objective. So yeah, oh my God, we had to we had to draw them all by hand. So yeah, yeah, we did them on note cards. I remember that. In fact, that was before we had the light table. I don't know about you, kitten. So I'm not sure how you did them, but for me, I. Closed the door. Or closed, I closed. I turned off all the lights in the kitchen at night and put the back porch light on and traced to get some of the same positioning right um, on our back window at our parents' house. <laughs> oh god, it was horrible. That's why I also kind of was like, I can't do this in a style. I can't replicate. No, I think. Yeah, I mean, personally, I'm I'm not always a big fan of some of the styles, but I do believe that all art is art. And like, to me, art isn't just, you know, drawing or painting or stuff like that. Cause yeah, music is art and, you know, writing is art and um, any kind of media that we are like, you know, um, movies and animation and all that stuff, that's all art. So yeah, I will say at least uh, I do, I do feel um, when I teach my kids how to, cause I teach kid children how to draw manga like draw Japanese comics, like literally how to make their own comics. So that's pretty much my big thing at the, uh, the art gallery to chat. And I always encourage them to please use your own style. Do not worry. There is no right or wrong for style. Like, yes, anatomy can be important, but part of, um, especially like animation and stuff and these stylized thing is taking, um, like all art derives from realism, but it's taking realism and looking at it and exaggerating it in different ways, seeing the world in a different way kind of thing. So. I always encourage them so much with that. And I, I'd like to think that I'm uh, at least helping them and not making them feel like they can't draw a certain art style because I want them to draw how they want to draw. Well, um, I was going to say if the kitten, because kitten had the same class as I did. She definitely had the flash one before me. I had the flash one with Rana Faye too. I had Rana Faye in a lot of them. <laughs> So she was in some of Kitten's and some of mine because I think she was taking less classes. Oh, I, I took like five to six classes a semester. That's why I got through it so fast. Don't do that, guys. Um, but yeah, uh, I know. And we had to export them as like EXE files too. Or what, what was the Mac thing? Was it OS? Dot OS? I don't know. You think I know. I grew up on Macs, but I have not used the Mac in so long. Ugh! Why is all my exposure set weird? What the fuck, Photoshop? So those still play for me. I mean, I feel like not all art has to necessarily have like an inherent meaning like that, but I do understand what you're saying. Because yeah, sometimes it's like, Especially if that's the whole thing that they're pushing that it's supposed to have like a meaning or something and you it's not an easily understood meaning or something that like is easily pervade. Um, the fact that, you know, maybe like it comes down to if the majority of your viewers are not looking at it and understanding it for what it's supposed to be, then it is not what it's supposed to be. And you need to reevaluate uh, your way of seeing things doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong, but you may need to consider that not everyone is going to see it this way and kind of adapt to it i also don't think all art has to have meaning though yeah because art just literally exists to make us happy guys that's totally cool did you know you guys are allowed to enjoy things <gasps> i mean i have fun i don't particularly draw most of my stuff with anything in mind I mean, this is particularly a Patreon reward. That's all. I mean, I'm having fun with it because I love these characters and I love watching them stream. Um, these these are two VTubers too. But I'm like, I don't sit there and think about like a lot of it as like, oh, it has this meaner or something. In most cases though, I guess a lot of my stuff is being like, at least like 
like this where it's it is it has some background reason for being it but even like sometimes i just want to draw a mermaid so i'm gonna draw a mermaid i think it doesn't help that so much of art classes well, this, I mean, technically a Patreon word, I guess, is kind of a commission. Um, but you're not wrong. They, definitely the people I'm drawing it for have their own idea of what they have. But not, like, that's just it, though. I draw stuff for myself. Like, that, I, uh, what is it, just a couple weeks back, after I was done being sick, I drew myself uh, my, my demonic girl from those kiosks. I saw him big and sexy just because I wanted to. There's no real meaning in that. I just wanted to draw her. I guess that is my meaning is sometimes I want to draw her. I want to draw something that's different than my norm or I would just want to draw a particular character. No special meaning. I literally just wanted to. I think that's fine. I think if your reason for drawing is you want to do it, then why, why or doing making art is you want to. That's that's a fair reason to me. But yeah, I feel like because so much of the time we're taught that if you're not doing something that's making productivity to society or that has like meaning to society, it must be wrong. I don't think that's true. I definitely think those are what like those kind of things are ingrained to us though as like just every day. I mean, obviously a lot of it has changed because like that's that's a big thing that um, I've brought up a lot um, with, especially with my, my students because like when I was their age, because uh, my, my kids range uh, from like ages 10 to like 16 typically, I'm um, like, I was bullied horribly for being into art and being into like, especially anime art style art and, you know, be, being into the stuff I was into and the, the way I had it. And yeah, no, I was pretty cringe at times. But the thing is, is just it, most of it wasn't even that I was, like, you know, they were just like, oh, well, you you can't be into this. It's wrong. It's not offering anything into your life. Ironically, I did end up making it part of my career. But at that time, especially, I, I did not like drawing when I first got into this kind of stuff. I was not one of those naturally talented people. So... Somebody's paying. Dude, somebody paid like what? One million dollars for a piece of banana tape to a blank board or something? Yeah, that I feel is a little extreme. But you know what? It, I might question it and it makes me sad that people won't pay, pay me a million dollars. I'll tape a banana to a board. Yeah, I'm gonna say I haven't watched any of the Flash videos in a long time. I, I, but yeah, if we because we have to always make EXE files and stuff too, so... That's why my, my game that I made, um, it is actually still up to download on uh, Zos Kiosk's website because I've just never bothered to take it off my sad visual novel. You can actually get it on Zoskiosk.com and play it. My senior project. <laughs> it's so bad. And if you don't know the characters, it also is hard. Still, it's just insane. But yeah, everyone has difference. And sometimes it's not even the art itself, but other meanings that we don't necessarily understand. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna understand it, but I also don't think that me as a person has a right to, you know, knock anybody for stuff they like or they wanna spend money on. I mean, I wish they'd throw some more of that money at me. Now, the only thing I will fight people on is NFTs because I hate NFTs with a burning passion. They're so dumb. I don't even like downloading digital only games. Why the hell would I want something that I don't physically have in my hand or that is entirely just mine? Yeah, no. I've had so many random people I don't know message me, including on what, the, so typically I get them on, you know, like DA, DeviantArt and stuff. And even a couple times on Facebook and Twitter, but I actually had one on Pixiv, which is uh, primarily, it was originally started as a Japanese art site. So obviously there's, you know, English on it now, but I'm, I'm still using my Japanese account because um, I, I guess I should say I'm still using my account in Japanese because I started it when English was not available and I know enough Japanese that it doesn't bother me. But yes, I got an um, email in a completely Japanese from Pixiv asking me to become part of an NFT gang and I was like, God damn it, no, they got me here too. No, I don't like NFTs. That is like the one thing... I'm not saying that the art itself does not have value because no, that, that is not what I'm saying. I just am saying the concept of it, same concept of like Bitcoin and stuff, uh, non-tangible things don't have, I just, no, no. 
<laughs> no, that's my answer. That is my final answer. No. <laughs> that's to say, if that is your thing, um, I will never understand it. But you know what? You are indeed allowed to like what you like. I've seen some weird things. I mean, especially as somebody who does commissions art, I have also gotten some weird things to draw. Um, there are things, obviously, I say no to, and there are also things I charge extra for. In fact, it's even stated in my rules that if you're going to do certain things, I'm going to make you pay more. Because <laughs> I'm not comfortable drawing them. If it's something I am completely never going to be comfortable drawing, like, for instance, like, uh, like Shota or Lily, like, no, I would never draw those. Don't lose the lollies! I mean, I don't love feet, and I'm not great at drawing them per se, but Wong, I will draw you many feet. If you want me to draw you many feet. I don't know. The art, the art place is just such a weird place. Um, I think this piece down here. You guys all wanted to see a close-up of his crotch, right? I might need to make this darker, actually, because it looks too close to her white. <coughs> yeah, maybe I'll add some more depth there, especially because I still have silver to do. Oh, I mean, I'm not saying you're not allowed to criticize it, obviously, no. And yeah, because art is objective, you also don't even have to understand it. So you are allowed to welcome it, to question it and criticize it. That is not a, never not a thing. But yes, especially if they're professional and they're supposed to be training you on it. And I don't blame you for being like, I don't understand this, this makes no sense. Yeah, I feel like I would probably just be like, uh... You know what, I'm thinking back, and I, honestly, Barb, the teacher who really hated stylized stuff, her art was okay. Oh, hi, here's a reference. Um, let's see, what else we got? Looks like that's a lighter color. Like a lighter green. I mean, that's also part of being an artist. You know, you're gonna get you're gonna get critiques and stuff. You have to. I mean, I'm not necessarily great at taking them. Sometimes it depends on how people are. But I also, as an artist, have way more confidence than I did even a year ago. But that that was that's always been a big downside for me. I don't have a lot of confidence. Yeah, I. I'll have to look it up, but yeah, no, I don't support the NFT industry. I also don't do like Bitcoin or anything either. I, I just, I understand conceptually why they have potential, but the NFT especially was, that was so bad and it was really bad for the economy and the environment and all that other stuff. And I'm like, what the hell guys, these are digital code. That is a lot of thing I think people didn't realize is that they, um, don't actually, they didn't actually own like the stuff too. So it was a weird concept. Oh my God, that is, that is pretty, pretty awful. Yeah, that's why I'm like, uh, even one of the artists that I follow that I really like, um, they do a lot of like really stylized, uh, like uh, old calligraphy, um, what did it be? Sumie type drawings. But, um, yeah, they they did some um, NFT. They they actually did like an NFT and all like everyone, including like I didn't even comment, but I was like reading all the comments on the post, and everyone's like, "Why?" Like, thank you, people. I mean, but that's exactly it. It's like, yeah, you, you don't own anything. I personally, if I want to buy art, I'm gonna get a commission, or I'm gonna like you know buy a print of the art I like. Because I want to physically own it. I mean, it's okay if it's a digital file of it, but I mean, if it's my character and the agreement that, it, well, it always depends on obviously your agreement with the commissioner too. But generally, like I've done um, art for um, books and stuff. Like, uh, and just recently I, I did uh, for the Kumati works, uh, their apprentice. I did volume four, the artwork for the cover and the interior for volume 14 of Apprentice. 
and yeah like technically the the agreement we came to is like yes they actually own the original rights i mean i got paid for it so it's not just like free and you know it's like they they own the original rights for that for sure but the art itself um they're very cool and like technically they could reproduce it without talking to me because i mean i said that was fine because that was part of the agreement they paid me for it and i i was a i'm able to show it off and be like i did this art but they're not my characters but yeah um they, they still like they still ask me it's very nice i think it helps that you know they're just good people it's actually really funny i got paid to do all this work on another book and then like the guy writing it was like i don't think i can get this done i think i'm just gonna put it on the back burner and i was like okay well you know th this is the stuff i got done because i had already done some of it and sent it to him so i just sent him the rest that i've been working on I'm like if you want to revisit it in the future and want to talk to me i mean I, i'll save i hold on to all my files i just put them on an external it's just great when you know somebody comes to me after like hey this like one of my regulars came to me and was like hey this thing you drew from me four years ago do you have the original file i'm like oh god i have it i just gotta find it <laughs> i try to sort everything by date so i know but it was it took me a while to find that one i was like going crazy i'm like where did i save this especially because they had multiple different pieces but no i i like regulars don't we all do come back and commission us or talk to us again it's weird too because i started getting writing commissions recently that's a that's a new one for me just randomly out of the blue somebody's like hey they, they pay me to colorize stuff all the time they actually started paying me to do like stories for them and i was like you, you don't even know what i write like do, do you want to sample my writing they're like no just write and i'm like oh okay and they liked it at least but i was like oh please please uh, i have a sampler my website that lets you actually read a bit of all of my uh, like a bunch of my stories like the first chapter like can you read that first and make sure that my writing style aligns with what you're looking for i just didn't care i guess funny though god there's so many different ways to commission people and then when kubo kohaku actually finally gets all her social media packed up i don't know if you guys if any of you guys saw the stuff for the zoe's kiosk anniversary because yeah it's what 16 years old uh, she's the one who did the cake, though. She is a baker. So I gave her the art to put on it, and she made it decorated, and did little bats, and the little nice colors, and the gradient. And she was like, Lillian has a gradient, so I'll do a gradient. It was really nice, and it was delicious, too, because obviously I ate the cake. <laughs> I did not just commission the cake to look at it. I was going to eat it, man. But yeah, I like to try to commission friends when I can. I don't always have the money, and obviously I don't always have the need for, like, a cake, but... <laughs> Random cake. Please, it's a Tuesday. I need a cake. <laughs> Actually talking about that today at the store too, because I mentioned uh cosplay and kitten. I uh I I um like Wong and I have her do a lot of the like basically I guess all of it. I, I say a lot, but she's the only one we've ever had that do it. Um do paint the miniatures for like board games. You know how sometimes board games come with like those blank miniatures? Uh, I like tables. I like gaming. Of all sorts. And tabletop. So yeah, yeah, she paints those for us. If you guys ever saw the uh, Godzilla set she did, that was for us. So I don't know. That kind of stuff always amazes me because I can't do that. But I really want to write a song. Um, I can write lyrics, okay, and I can come up with melodies, but I can't actually write music or create music. So I just hum it, and I'm like, that's as far as I get. <laughs> but people who can do that are really cool to me because that's something I can't do. Like I said, my strong point is not 3D. Um, I've had a lot more. It's really funny because after the, the past couple years of working with like VTubing and stuff, I have gained so much more knowledge of 3D than I had back when I was in school. And I was like, this is so weird. But I feel like it's a lot easier. There's a lot more accessibility and stuff. Hello. Hi, Mod Boy. You're not wrong. A lot of people overlook uh, Nausicaa. Oh no, you got bad news. Not gonna give me memes? <laughs> oh, ow. Did you rob the bank? Uh -huh. da -da -da -da. Got it. Okay. Never know. 
That does suck when you get fired on the first day of a job. Now bye, you bye, you bye. I knew there was gonna be a joke there. I knew it was coming. I knew it. You're probably one of those people who like goes and tips the waiter, waiter, and actually pushes them over, right? <laughs> I was like, I'm waiting for it. It's coming. It's coming. I feel like the closest thing I've done to that is I have actually qu quit a job after only a couple days of working at it. Yeah. In fact, it was really funny. The, the job that I actually quit after only working for there for like a week um was at this um so i i don't know how to describe it because it's a design place that specializes in um funeral stuff like brochures and um memorabilia and like the pamphlet you know the stuff you kind of see at funerals so it's not exactly oops that's why so yeah it's not exactly an exciting it's not exactly a happy job to begin with. Um, but yeah, so first off, when I applied for the job, it was a full-time position. That's why I applied for it. Um, it was near my house and it was a design job. And I was like, okay, yeah, I've got all the experience, blah, 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 et cetera. Uh, then I actually, you know, went in for the interview and they're like, oh, well, we're thinking part-time. And I was like, fine, I work at a print shop. I do part-time there. And I was only doing three days a week at the print shop. So um, I had agreed to basically do three days a week there and three days a week at this uh, place until I got more rounded with it. And then I would um, drop some hours at the print shop or, you know, eventually quit it and just do slow more, if, especially if they wanted to give me more hours because it paid better. Well, the training there was horrible. Um, so that was that was dumb. I hated the training. I did accept it, even though it was part time when it was supposed to be full. Um, and then they didn't give me breaks, like lunch breaks and stuff. So I would work like an eight hour shift without a single break. Even like, I literally was just like the third day and I'm like, I have gotten sick two days in a row because I am not getting breaks and rest and you need to do it. And then I had like a really bad fever that week and it was horrible. Also, when they initially hired me, they told me I would work one Saturday a month. And then suddenly they're trying to put me down for every Saturday a month. And I'm like, no, this is not what I agreed with guys. If I had agreed to it, it'd be one thing, but you don't just suddenly change it. And it was just, it was a horrible, toxic environment. So I didn't like it. And then fast forward to many years later, just like last year sometime, maybe was it like last year. Anyways, uh, Kitten had an interview at the same place. It got bought out, but it was still the same place. And then Kitten interviewed and she's like, uh, and I was like, yeah, no, don't do that. They, they were pretty bad. But I think they offered her the job and she turned it down. I'm like, yeah, no, don't do it. They're, they're pretty awful. Also, be, be, be nice to your employees, okay, guys? Hear me? Treat them like people. Did I already? Oh, I've already had the third layer of shading. Nice. Okay. I, I'm paying so much attention to what I'm doing. Okay, let's do. Big rush! Low opacity. Low flow. Whatever. I really want to finish this tonight, but I, I probably won't finish it on stream, obviously. But I'm like, I have been working on this way too long and I've got so much other stuff I need to work on. It's really hard though. Like, so if you guys don't know, uh, Yuko Kurabere, um, he is from uh, Hollow Stars. And he's part of the original, like one of the early gens and stuff. Uh, so, but he is deceptively hard. Like all of Hollow Stars characters are deceptively hard to draw. Like my phone's going off. Where is it? It's in front of me. <laughs> That's what I'm using for my camera. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that, guys. I switched from my webcam to my phone uh, with Meow Face because I feel like it tracks a lot better. I, then I do things like hear my phone go off because it buzzed and I'm like, where is it? Where is my phone? It's not on a stand. Yeah, because it's on a different stand and it's behind my drawing tablet. <laughs> oh, I'm one of those people. 
Hi guys, I am naturally blonde. I'm allowed this. First off, you have to have boobs to do that. No. God, why would you duct tape anything to your boobs? I had to use, uh, what is that called? Medical tape before for something and, oh, never again. It wasn't even directly to my boobs. It just still, no. Yeah, I was say if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, why are you at a hundred? Oh, I figured it out. It's because when I hit zero, I learn. Okay, anyways. Um, Yeah, like I, um, the first time we ever did a heart run monitor thing in this household, we, we did some really weird, um, thing where Wong was able to mirror his phone screen and then just took it off of the Fitbit. <laughs> I would use my Fitbit. I have a Fitbit, but, uh, there's no real reason for me to use a heart monitor because, um, I mean, have you guys, if you guys have ever seen me do any of these, like the horror games and stuff we do, have you not noticed that I'm just really casual about things? I'm not really afraid of things, so I don't get the reaction that people would hope for. Now, if I did ring fit, you would see how much I die. I can't right now, though, because I can't. I, I only have one usable leg, basically. The other leg is still there, and it's still attached, but that's the one that's damaged and that I can't really walk on right now. So I, I have not done any kind of, like, exercise like that in a long time. I miss it. I, was, I wanted to get to... I don't even know what level I was at, but I, I wanted to finish the story. I wanted to know what was going on, man. Not exactly an exciting thing, but it was fun. It made me feel good. Cause I'm not very good in shape. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Sweat definitely. Although I guess I, I suppose that's better than not having than having duct tape on your skin. Cause yeah, no, that that's awful. It's awful. It's very hard to. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to. I went to tape my entire arm up with medical tape and that was enough. That was so dumb of me. But I was young and cosplaying. That was, that was why I got my butt in gear and actually finished the gauntlet that was supposed to be on that arm. That was, one time was too much for me. My, my hand, my arm, whole arm was like raw for the next like two weeks. Pretty bad. Nowadays, though, I feel like it's a lot easier to do the heart monitor thing anyways. Not just with, like, things like Fitbits and watches, but, yeah, there's, there's just so many different ways to do it that don't involve duct taping a heart monitor to your boobs. I mean, unless that's your kink, then I won't stop you. Already had this discussion. People are allowed to like what they like. We don't have to understand it. So now that I'm thinking of that, I'm thinking of that time that Too Much Wong did his uh, his uh, ring fit stream with uh, Clydeo Baseball. <laughs> the amount of times he broke. Oh, actually, these characters I know. Um, so yeah, a lot of Patreon um, rewards do end up being characters I know, or they're like OCs, which I get to know. I always, um, if I'm drawing any OCs, I always ask the person I'm drawing it for, like to give me information about said character, because I want to be able to capture as much of their personality. But so, um, Yuko Kurobe, who's the boy, um, is a bartending VTuber. Um, he is, he owns one spoon. <laughs> Um, that's, that's a joke. That, that was like a joke thing way back in the day of early Hollow Stars. Guys, I've been following them for a while. Um, but yeah, so he's, he's pretty, uh, he's good at like talking. Uh, he has, he, he's not necessarily, like, he's a good, he's a more normalized crazy. Yeah, that's the joke when they go over to his house, there's like, and he owns one spoon. And then he got money and we tried to get him to buy another spoon. 
Um, he's, he's a good, I would call him like the good guy in the group. Like he's he's very much very at times gentlemanly, but then he'll also have discussions on like in one of the Apex Legends collabs he did with Ali and Bale. They were talking about what kind of gun the pee that they had, their urine streams were like. That was an interesting conversation. And then uh, uh, Kaguya and Maya, I don't know as much about, but I've been, uh, because I watch their collab streams, I've seen some other ones where they've collabed together or other people have collabed with her. She's chaotic. I love it. She is super chaotic. And she likes to tease Roberu all the time, and it's so easy to tease him that she, she does it very well. But I like her. That's why I was like, when I was uh, thinking, like, because I, I, I came up, so the way Patreon works um, is they just get to, like, when they win, um, because every month I pull, uh, depending on the tier, there's a couple different, uh, reward, like, uh, art, like, basically free arts you can get, depending on the tier. And um, so when I pull for it, I, they, all they get to do is tell me the character. I generally, if they have, like, a concept for a pose, I don't usually want them handing me, like, everything. It's a little different for commissions, but even then, I, as somebody who does commissions, I definitely prefer it when somebody isn't like, here is exactly the pose I want and stuff. I like it when they're like, I would like something like this, but you know, maybe mix it up or like, this is the concept. Like, I like this kind of, this kind of posing. I like having more freedoms with it, but it is also good if you know the characters. But yeah, so I, this, this pose I decided on my own. Um, I thought it would be fun to have her harassing him because I haven't really zoomed out. Uh, I think I need to make some lighter for it. Yeah, that, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, Kaguya took me a long time uh, drawing it, surprisingly, and then Robidoux's hair. Let's not talk about Robidoux's hair. <laughs> that's all I'll say about his hair. Let's not talk about it. Yeah, it, it's, it's been fun. I do at least know these characters. So yeah, these, these characters are ones I know and like. There's been a lot, like, actually, um, it's funny, because a lot of the, um, the, like, different series and stuff I've gotten into have been because of commissions. Like, somebody will commission me to do something, and like I said, I'd like to know, um, I'll ask questions so I can know a little bit about the character. And, you know, so I can, I feel like I want to make the character seem, like, I don't want to draw a character that doesn't smile, you know, smiling and stuff like that. So I want to know a little bit about, like, their personality, some likes, dislikes, gives me some ideas. Um... And yeah, like way back in the day, um, because I do a lot of chibi bookmarks. My chibis tend to be my big commission thing for a lot of stuff. Um, somebody commissioned me to do Natsume, Natsume Yujinsho, Natsume Book of Friend, um, when there wasn't as much out as there is now. And I was like, okay, I don't know what this is, but somehow I'm very attracted to this, this series I want to know. And then I watched it and I fell in love with the series and it is one of my top favorite series. So I recommend it, especially if you like folklore. And I am a huge fan of folklore, in case you guys did not realize that. I like all kind of mythology and folklore. So. so yeah, I was very, very happy with that. He's got, I think at this point, I just need to use my picture reference because I can't keep doing this. Uh, he's got, stri it's on his stripes. Okay. okay. On his tie. Oh, his tie is interesting. Oh? Uh, and then you can't see the side of his vest or the back of his belt that would also have run. I totally did not hit the paint run. Oh my gosh, it's already over an hour. My god, guys, look at that! Made the stream go by so fast! Thank you! I'm gonna get off here so I can get some other work done because I gotta do Akiba Soul still. It's about time for me to do the pre-orders for the day but thank you guys thank you for coming okay so this is what i got done i think i've already showed it to you but i'll show it to you again <laughs> so yeah it's it's still got some you know little pieces here and there to finish and the detailing on roll Beru, i'm gonna scream at him um obviously i don't draw the same style so it's been um i've had to use this 3d model a lot to get some of the color references mayo was a little easier for the color references at least although it took me forever to figure out what the back of her shirt looked like i was so mad at that and myself for that i picked the pose where and i'm like i don't have a reference of the back of her damn it um but yeah i still like this i think i'm having fun with it for sure um yeah so uh when it's done and everything uh as per usual the high res will be posted for free on well it will be posted on patreon so if you are a patreon 
Patreon, you will have free access to the high res with no watermarks or anything. And if I'm not doing a second a variation on this one, but sometimes I do variation. So you would get that for free too. Uh, but yeah, otherwise you, you can find it on my social media and in the discord and all sorts of things. All right. Um, so I, that is not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Wrong scene. Wrong scene. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go find somebody to raid. If you guys have any, ever have any suggestions, what I normally do is I go, I try to look through, um, my, like who I'm following and see if there is anybody with low counts, but I am always up for meeting new friends. So sometimes if it doesn't seem like anyone has a low count, I will just literally go random. All right. Oh, man, walk is online. Maybe I'll do that. That's a good one. I think Halo. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do Waka. Another artist friend of mine. Go ahead and read him. Wait, how do I read this button? Yeah, so other than that, um, I will be streaming Valheim at some point. I, I didn't actually correctly raid because I'm bad. Who is Blue Brew Orion? I also want to make sure, you know, I'm not just going to like blindly follow you guys' league. Although I do not think you would lead me astray. Brew Orion. Oh my God, they don't need me. They got 21 people, man. Go ahead and follow them though for future. No, okay, anyways. Yeah, I, I like to do little babies. Makes me feel better. This is the raid button? Yeah, that's the raid button. I, I put the wrong thing. Uh, anyways, so I'll be doing Valheim sometime this weekend. Still working on the day and time, trying to see uh, when everyone's free. But I'm hoping to do it with uh, Too Much Wong, Spiker, Ghostly, and RTD, Raccoon the Dog, uh, as normal. Um, and I don't know, maybe I'll play something else this week too. But yeah, this is the only art stream I plan for this week. So, All right, guys, let's go. Let's go raid Waka.